Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial. In this part, I'll walk you through the members, life, character stats, and most importantly, how to back up your account if you are happy after re-rolling. So let's get right in. Now let us look at the members, which is to edit your team. And here we have several options. This is edit your friend members, which you are going to take them into play. And this is the members gallery plus the scene cards here and this is the level lesson which you level up your characters let's have a look at the editing and here we have several things that we need to take note first we have our overall overall power which is this part it's a combination of all three vocals dance and performance so Depending on which stage that you're going to clear, you need to bring different members with different attributes to match it so you can get higher scores. And one thing to take note is that each center that you put here, like here I have Risa as center. Risa has a center skill of vocal 70% up for blue. So if you want to tackle a blue stage, you better bring Risa and then other blue attribute members to get a higher score and then here we have recommended editing which allows you to automatically group whichever colors that you're going for like for example red and it will automatically put the red members on your team with the highest stat possible other than that you can also focus on vocal dance and perform and now as you can see I have Rika as center and her skill is performance 70% up for yellow but it all depends on which member do you like so I'll just bring whosoever I like the scores will definitely be affected but that's what you play the game for right? yeah we'll go with this there's also 5 slots available for you to save different teams which allows you to you can like do one for red and then one for green, blue and purple then you can have a look at all your stats and here we have a detailed look of all the front members of their stats which they gain from costumes, scene cards, center skills and group skins so the total number will be the overall strength of your current front members the higher the number the better score you score in the stages and you can scroll down for each individual members and their stats and you can click on this button to view your front members in their scene cards I have Risa as center so she's having a center then this is your overall strength and then here we have group skins which I haven't unlocked Then next we'll look at members. This is where you can have a look at the members that you have collected. Like for example, Kobayashi. Kobayashi Yui this. Here you can have a look at her basic stats. And then here you have all the things that you have unlocked. This is photo, movie, and then voice. And this is drama which unlocks at your ranking producer rank 10 which is equivalent to 10 level and then here is costume and then basic stats here the basic vocal dance and performance and here is the bond rank which you can raise by taking her to clear stages and there's 24 25 levels here and the higher you get the more things you unlock like if you reach level 12 here you can have you unlock a movie spotlight and so on and then here you can have a look at the scene card that you have collected the front members are labeled like this And then here we can access the lesson 
which allows you to level up your member and then here's your skill you can level up the skill when you reach producer rank 30 so that's still a long way to go and then here we have awakening which also unlocks at producer rank 5 now take a look at collection this is the place where you can see all the things that you have unlocked this is the photo movie and then voice I haven't unlocked anything so it says here this photo will only unlock when Hikaru awakens for the first time the second time and the third time movie so in order to unlock the collections via awakening you'll need to reach producer rank 5 first which you can do here so we will come back here when I reach rank 5 and I'll demonstrate one more time for you guys now here's a little thing that we'll need to take note of in this place this is a new what should I call it newbie mission when you click on it when you tap on it it will say it will show you several things that you can do and then when you unlock everything here you can unlock a new song for you to play like here it says edit your front members which I have already done I'll accept it and then here it says clear one time live clear two time live reach producer rank 4 change your Oshiman settings level one of your scene cards with your lesson point and reach 10 levels with any one of your scene cards back at the members window you can see my Oshiman is playing a little video here and you can change it by pressing this button here we can see all this all the members that we have collected and you can only display those that you have collected like for example I have Hikaru here as my Oshiman and then I have four more slots for a member that I like now let's try to put you can tap here try to put Risa Akane Rika and Yuka so when you have this everything here set up you can go back here and you rotate whenever you come back to the main screen so depends on how many members that you have unlocked you can actually play around with this and after you change the settings there the little movie here will rotate one by one and then let us talk about live now this is the place where you're going to choose the stage then this part here is actually event which doesn't have anything yet this one is bonus life where you can earn lesson points to level up your members and then here general currency money now we have two songs here and we can only clear this two times a day now this is silent majority for today and if you want to get more lesson points, you can clear this and then this is for the money and then as usual, you can then choose normal, pro or master the higher the difficulty, the more you can get and then we'll have a look at library which is the general story stage Now here's the thing that you need to unlock according to how many songs that you have played and there's one thing you need to take note that is this producer roadmap 
when you click on it, it will show you all the set lists that you have cleared, and how many points that you have gathered, depending on which stage that you cleared on, like normal, Tom, and master. The more scores you get, the more gems you can earn. And whenever you reach a certain stage, you need to go back to that stage and clear it with new high scores so that you can clear the roadmap ahead of you. And you can see here, this is the producer roadmap. The first one we have here is to clear 100,000. And there is this bigger one, which requires you to clear silent majority for 300,000 points. And here you have other story, other stages that you can play. Like for example, this one, you need to unlock this by reaching producer rank 12, 16, and 28. So this is still a far way, still a long way to go. And we have another one here, which is for Hinata Zaka. This one you can access here by producer rank 3 and so on. Here it says that you can only access here with 34 level. Producer rank 34. It is Kiyakizaka Debut Countdown Life, which is a pretty old life, I guess. And here's your mission tab and then your present tab. If you click on mission, this is this all this here is the daily mission which you can clear every day to get extra 50 gems. And there are weekly missions. Here you have lesson points, money, and then key chips. This here is a key piece which allows you to exchange for awakening material. And then here is the group overall strength missions. This is also an achievement tab which records all the scores that you have cleared. For example here, it says blue type live clear one time. Here is the limited event which grants you gacha tickets. And then we have a present tab which, which is all the things that you get from the game. So, I think everything. This is the. This is actually the key, which you get by getting duplicate scene cards of the member. Like here, I have a a week limit break key of Takemoto Yui, which you uses to limit break her to unlock more awakening stages. There's also one thing that you need to take note of is to. Back up your account once you're done re-rolling, you're, you're happy with all your members and you're happy with your starting choices, you can press renew here and you can, see, you can see a button here. This button allows you to back up your account or more specifically, you can set up an ID and password so what's, whenever you want to change your phone or to connect to something else to play, you can use the ID and password, log into there and then you are good to go. Here we need to create your own password first. It's okay. This is your password and then this is the code that it will give you. You can use this code and your password to log in with another device or another emulator. So every time you need to change a new phone, you need to remember to do this. Otherwise, you lost your account. And, get, and I guess that's the basic, all the basics that you need to know. And if you can't read Japanese, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down and ask. I'll try to help as much as I can. And I will be back with more updates with this Unis on air. And after I've unlocked this office and drama. The office is a little space that you can interact with your chibi characters and the drama is actually a story simulation that you can read that goes on between the members 
And also don't forget that you need to unlock Awakening at rank 5. So I guess that's that. And I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video.